wrote uncle. Oh, I told them, auntie. Uncle, he won't know who uncle is. Oh, don't worry, he'll probably eat half the cake before he looks at it. He's just like you. Yes, the piglet. Mm. Oh, we'll have to completely redecorate his room, you know. We can't put a married couple in a bedroom that looks like a bulletin board. Plus, there has to be room for the grandchildren. So there goes your Dan. Someone's feeling better. Well, grandchildren. <laughs> oh, I can just see you as a grandfather. <laughs> Pushing the carriage, gold chains clinking, chest hair dyed. Not a bad side is it. Don't stir that, it's the marinade. Oh. Go get ready for rehearsal now. Go, go. You never let me help you cook. Just go on, go, go. I'll see go you on. downstairs. Grandma. God, I hate that smell. I'm gonna make you like beer someday, Armand. Check! Club office in five minutes! Where's the keg? I'll be right there, Pop. I'm inflating my shoe. Just kill that kid. Why did I ever get him no shoes? Because he's young and ruthless, and you're weak and guilty, and he knows all the buttons to push. Jeez, you're right. If that little punk didn't win an athletic scholarship, I'd rip those shoes right off his feet. Scholarship? You didn't tell me about that. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, three colleges. Well, kid's got a lot of talent. Uh, where he got it from, I don't know, but... No, it's amazing. Val's getting a degree in engineering. Top 20 in his class. I don't even know how Velcro works. That's great. Top 20? Great. It's funny, ain't it? When I was born, my dad hoped that I would grow up to be president. When Chucky was born, I figured, hey, if you don't get hooked on drugs or turn gay, I'm fine. No offense. No offense. I thought the same thing when Val was born. I wanted things to be, you know, easier for him. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Look, we're all cowards when it comes to our own kids, right? <laughs> but they turned out all right, didn't they? I mean, they, they lived. <laughs> They're going to college, and they are making us crazy. Hey, hey, hey. Don't you have any sense of time? Please. Val, Mom, I, I'm Senator and Mrs. Keeley and uh, uh, Barbara. This is my mother. This is my mom. This is my mommy. Don't come. Thank you. It's done. Come home. with Ohio license plates. No, I got it. Well, it's a small area. If he's there, they'll spot him. Yeah. Call Miami. Tell him to get on this. This could be your first segment. I'm gonna throw out a serious news story about 5,000 dead in the Sri Lanka earthquake from tabloid Schmutz and Kevin Keeley. What if I told you that the National Enquirer is tracking him? Let me see if it is 5,000. Are you leaving that space? What? No. And you can't park here. This is an intersection. Oh, damn. And from that day on, they decided to look for a cemetery they really loved instead of eating tofu. <laughs> Daddy favored Keeper's Skein, but... Mummy was afraid of developers. Senator Keeley, 
Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to get too full. No fear of that. Mrs. Keeley? Oh, no, really. I'm saving myself for the main course. Oh, but I thought you oh. understood. This is the main course. Oh. In the Guatemalan jungle, peasant soup represents a coming together, a pot of fur. Everything in one pot. Actually, everyone in one pot, as they say in Agador's little village. <laughs> Especially on bath night. <laughs> but seriously, when two families are about to unite, they dine together on their first meal of peasant soup to symbolize that they're both going to be in the same... Pot! Yes. Oh, that's incredible. Don't you think that's incredible, Dad? Mm. Oh, and, and this is such a, a great dish. Don't you think so, Mom? Yeah, um, what gives these soup greens that sweet taste? A pineapple. Oh. Well, just in time for dessert. Did you get everything done? Can I get somebody some soup? No! no. Who made this? I do. And it's wonderful. Angel. <laughs>